what up what up what's going on welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel my name is jeff joseph you see the thumbnail you see the title so you already know what i'm about to talk about in this video but before i do i want to make sure that everybody who's new that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button make sure you tell people to subscribe because the sooner y'all subscribe the sooner i can get this cash giveaway going i'm giving away you know at every increment i'm gonna give away some cash but for now when I touch a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give three people a hundred dollars. So it could be you. I'm gonna give y'all the rules in a little bit, but for now, make sure that you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Don't skip no ads when I get the ads. There's something else I wanted to tell y'all. <laughs> Two seconds later. And make sure you watch the video full through. Y'all be stopping these videos. About to get loaded they're getting ready to load me up now and um, as soon as i get loaded i'm gonna go head on down to florida I'm not gonna waste no time when drop this off in the morning uh, hopefully my dispatcher have something ready for me to go in the morning um, because i'm gonna be ready to go so i think when i stop for my break um, i'm gonna talk about my new dispatcher i'm gonna talk about how much money she had lined up for me by tuesday of the week by the way just the importance of having a really good dispatcher, how it can make or break your business, or just your ability to be able to line up loads. Uh, just kind of the struggles that I've been going through for the last uh, couple of days. Uh, just, you know, kind of an update on where I am and that, you know, let y'all know that everything is not always perfect in a box truck game. I know a lot of people try to make it seem like everything is perfect all the time. It's really not. There's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of challenges you gotta go through. Um, even with you know Amazon Relay not being as good as everybody hyped it up to be, but um, again, I'm just sharing y'all, sharing with y'all my experiences. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, uh, but just getting good loads, having a new authority, and just um, finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with a really good dispatcher. So I'll let y'all know. Finish getting loaded up here. Try to get some drone footage, but I think I broke a wing. So now I need to get a, I have one. I just don't have it with me, replacement wing. But I'm trying to get y'all some, some type of B-roll. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, I keep y'all posted, let y'all know when I'm on the road. And uh, I'm gonna run it with y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know the truth. So see y'all in a little bit. Just for diesel, that's not even including the death fuel. I didn't need any this time, but 265 just on diesel. Yeah. Shit's crazy. y'all so you may not be able to tell for obvious reasons but it is a whole new day and i am at my drop off point uh i did stop for lunch uh, dinner i stopped in atlanta um to a place called slutty vegan and it was too loud too copyright too much to film um <laughs> so i didn't have a chance plus my time went by so fast i didn't really have a chance to do anything but get my food and uh eat and hurry up and leave but i'm at my drop off site now it's actually at a walmart uh, i don't think i told y'all that they're doing some construction here so um it's almost eight o'clock exactly uh hopefully they're here on time so they can get me unloaded and i can move on all right y'all so i just got unloaded it was crazy um a lot more complicated than i'm sure they wanted it to be because they didn't have a load dock available uh, it was at a Walmart, but I don't think Walmart was letting them use their loading dock. 
But um, anyway, so I got unloaded, but I wanna talk real quick about the values of having a good dispatcher. I'm gonna put it up on the screen over there so y'all can see what we actually locked in. But my dispatcher was able to basically have over $6,000 confirmed uh, Raycons ready to go by Tuesday. By Tuesday, she has over $6,000 ready to go for Monday, drop Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now, uh, what I put up on the screen is what we ultimately ended up with because one of the brokers that we work with took us off the load because they didn't think that um, we were gonna get there in time, which is, which is dumb. They track you through an app and um, I had plenty of time to get there. Uh, it was 45 minutes away from my drop and I had two hours to get there, but they took me off. So that was a pretty uh, big setback because not only did we lose that income that we had planned for the day, but it also messed up, you know, the, the, the loads moving forward because she thought I was gonna be in a certain place and I wasn't gonna be in a certain place. So ultimately we didn't um, lock in that $6,000. Uh, but she was able to, and I, I'm bringing it up to say that there is money to be made in a box truck. You can do easily 7,000, 8,000 a week with a good dispatcher. That's the importance of having a good dispatcher. Now with my old dispatcher, it wouldn't have happened at all. In fact, having a green week wouldn't have happened at all with my old dispatcher. And um, it's just important to make sure that you got a good dispatcher. This is also the same reason why I would never choose Amazon Relay over OTR. Now, I hope y'all can still hear me because uh, this truck just started up next to me, but that's the same reason why, this is the same reason why I would never choose Amazon Relay over OTR. Like I just wouldn't choose OTR. I just wouldn't choose Amazon over OTR because of the potential. Now, I'm not saying Amazon is better or OTR is better. It's really just about, you know, it's really just about your preference. If you like to drive long distances, then OTR is better for you. If you like to be local or uh, regional or be at home every night, then Amazon is better for you. But as of right now, Amazon is looking pretty trash to me because not only are the rates are low, but they're actually really low in comparison to uh, the fuel cost right now, which is another thing, right? Right now we're spending twice as much, more than twice as much on fuel than when we first started. And when I projected uh, the numbers in starting this business, uh, when I projected it was about 900 to $1,000 a week. Now we're spending twice that amount, 2,000 to $2,200 a week, just in fuel. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. I think they're trying to kill us, but I don't know, we need a certain somebody to turn on the oil reserves in this country. And uh, sooner than later, my boy, because we're suffering out here, you know, but not gonna get into the politics of it, but I just wanna say that it is super important to make sure that you have a good dispatcher. But me, I'ma only use Amazon when I need to. That's just my preference. And um, these fuel prices are killing us. By the way, Amazon gave me another reason not to fuck with them. So I did get stuck in North Carolina for a little while. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but January, February, and March are slow seasons. April is when it starts picking up and then peak season. When we started this business, uh, we knew that, you know, this was the slow season that we were starting in, but we wanted to make sure that our authority was seasoned, that we had a 30, 60, 90 day authority by the time peak season really began so that way, you know, we could really run it up. So anyway, uh, we got stuck in North Carolina and um, you know, one of the one of the moves is to go with Amazon Relay. And uh, I booked a load, a $1,300 load going into another day zone in Florida, Opelika, basically Miami. And um, I booked the load, it was a nice paying load. It was 700 and something miles. It was $1.80 a mile, I think it was like Thirteen fifty, almost fourteen hundred dollars, or something like that, and um, booked a load. You know, not the greatest, but I was like, "All right, all right, Amazon, y'all redeeming yourself." I right, Amazon, wake up twelve fifteen in the morning, getting ready to go to Amazon. They cancel the load. Now they could cancel the load, but if we cancel a load or don't show up, it's a problem. So I wasn't even surprised. I was like, 
That's why I don't fuck with y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank you.